And we're back. You're listening to the Talking Box with Billy C. Show. Glad you could join us. Don't forget, speaking of joining us, follow us on Twitter. It's at Talking Boxing. That's T A L K I N. B-O-X-I-N-G. And don't forget, if you're up in uh, the frozen tundra known as Syracuse, New York, uh, make sure you uh, check out the show tomorrow at the Holiday Inn in Syracuse. JKJ Boxing is putting on uh, an event that uh, you should check out. You can get tickets by visiting www.jkjboxing.com. Just make sure you tell them Billy C. sent you. Now, joining us right now, he's fresh off a, a big win for the heavyweight boxino tournament up at Turning Stone. I was ringside for that. And uh, please welcome Razvan Kajanu. I hope I said your name right. Hello. Uh, nice to hear you from you guys. And uh, yeah, you pronounce actually pretty good my name. All right. Good, good, good. Because, you know, I murder my own name. That's why I call myself Billy C. I can't even pronounce my own name. But uh, congratulations on that fight, man. Uh, tell us what you thought about that fight. I know that uh, I was part of the press, the uh, post-fight press conference, and um, you know, I, I personally, before you tell me your thoughts, I thought that it shouldn't have went to the extra round. I thought you had that fight. I was, sh- I was shocked that uh, they went to that draw. Uh, you know, the draw breaker. What, what was your thoughts on the fight? To be honest with you, <laughs> you are like uh, any other people who tell me the same thing. You know. But uh, I can tell you for sure, I, I feel said the same like you too. And I was feeling after the, the sixth round, I, I won the fight. But doesn't matter. I, I respect the referee. I respect the, the decision. And what can I do? I'm a fighter. I'm in the ring to fight. I'm in the ring to do my job. And for the extra round, I understand that round, it's everything. Uh, I have to give everything what I have to win that, uh, that, that, that fight. You know, one of the things I noticed uh, about you, Razvan, that I really uh, admired is you work the body. And uh, a lot of guys that are as big as you are have a tendency to forget about the body. You know, they, they try to just work the head of their opponent. And it was something that I noticed uh, that you, you really were putting uh, a lot of effort in trying to work the body of your opponent. Uh, tell us about that and, and why you do it. To be honest with you, the, the left hook to the body is one of my my favorite to punch. And uh, in every fight I use it, I love to throw it, and I know it's one of my, my best shots. And uh, professional, I have 13 fights. And I think like 9, nine or maybe 10 people from 13, they get, uh, they get a little bit down from the body, you know. It's a, it's a painful shot because it's not like the chin, you know. When you punch to the chin, the, the opponent is going down and he's coming back. Hey, when you punch to the body, like my last fight, I had the guy two times, I feel him. And I one time the, the referee saved him and tell me, accuse me, I, I punch a little bit low, call me with a, with a low blow. But what can I say? It's, it's painful. So when you punch to the body, and with my power, what I get, I, I make damage. And I know that. And I, I try to use it how much I can. Well, I tell you what, um, a lot of fighters today don't, uh, you know, invest in body work, and I think it's a big mistake. It was, it was a breath of fresh air to see you, a young fighter, especially in the heavyweight division, utilizing the body work. And by the way, that punch that he warned you on, that was right on the belt. I even turned to the person next to me, and I'm like, why is he warning him? That, that, that punch was right on the yeah. belt, you know? So, yeah. uh, no, yeah. no, there is a referee that saved him, you know, because he was in trouble, but... I, I was even hearing him how he was breathing, you know. But what can I say? The, the, the fight is over. I move forward now. I try to make the adjustment necessary with my team and with my, with my coach to, to be better and better and better. I'm in a journey, you know. Like, um, I don't know if you remember, like, my T-shirt said on the back. It's all about the journey, you know. I'm in a journey. I'm in a mission, man. And I'm going to succeed. You're going to see it. Well, speaking of your coach, I, I love Buddy McGirt. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a fun guy to be around. Uh, we, we, we did some shows that he w- came on in, in Vegas and stuff. And uh, when I saw that he was your trainer, I, I knew you were in good hands. What has Buddy McGirt brought 
uh, to you and your development as a fighter and where did, where does he try to take it? I know I know he was kind of yelling at you and you even said in the in the post fight conference that you didn't listen to your coach um, but he knows what he's doing so how, how's he helped you man it's uh, it helped me a lot uh, with his uh, experience in boxing you know he, he trained a lot of big guys big names I mean big huge names actually. And he has a lot. He has a lot of uh, experience in boxing, and that has helped me. I'm a good friend with him, and I know sometimes I'm stubborn, and I don't call a mistake. I don't call uh, something bad, but I understand why he's acting like how he was acting in the fight because I didn't do what he wants me to do, and I know he's 100%. He wants to to take my best from me, you know. And he want to see me out there uh, to shine. But Barry, Barry is a great coach. He's a great guy. He's a great friend. And he's an unbelievable coach. He knows boxing. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does. And and he know, not only does he know the nuts and bolts of, of the sport, but he also knows the mental aspect, you know. And, and I think... You know, it's very rare that you have a guy that could actually coach his own son and, and do as well as he did with, with his son. And I think that that carries over to, to guys like you. And uh, I think you're, you guys make a great team. And with that said, um, you know, this tournament, I, I give all the fighters credit. And it was one of the things I was saying was, you know, what makes these types of tournaments different is that you sign up. You see all the other names, and basically what you're signing for is that you'll fight any of these guys. A lot of fighters today, they want to know, oh, which guy? Oh, no, no, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight that. What made you decide that this opportunity was for you? Well, to be honest with you, when my, when my team, team came with uh, the proposal for the, the tournament, I was the, the most excited uh, guy in the world. Because, first of all, on the TV, you know, I want to be on the TV. And I think my place is on TV. But uh, honestly, I like the idea with the uh, with uh, the system, with the tournament, the pyramid. You know, with like I feel like uh, like a warrior, like a gladiator. You know, in the arena, we gotta be number one. Who is the best? And that's it. You know. Well, I like the, I like the idea. I like the tournament. I, and I don't care about the names. Man. I never care about the names. I remember when I came here to the beginning, my 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 actual manager who is one of the, my managers, John Arthur, he used to bring me three days' notice, fight, you know? And I never asked with who I'm fighting and something like that. No, 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 no. The thing is, I go in the, in the ring to do the best what I can to, to, to do my job and to win the fight. That's it. And I don't ask who is that guy, how many fights has that guy? No, no way. No, I don't think like that. I, I, I'm thinking I'm the best and uh, my confidence is, is big, man. And I train high and I win hard and I know God is up and see everything, you know? That's well, it. Well, one thing I, I know Buddy must be, uh, you know, doing with you is, you know, you, you, you and Buddy and the rest of your team, they, they want you to get better and better at every fight, you know, right. learn something from every fight. And with that said, yes, your, your next opponent uh, for the tournament, I believe, is Donovan Dennis. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So, so what have you learned from the, the first fight um, that will help you in the fight with Donovan Dennis? One, I'm going to tell you one, only one thing, and the most important. I'm going to use my job. I'm going to use my job like crazy, my next fight. And you're going to see the, the huge difference. Yeah, but you're not going to get away from those devastating hooks to the body, I hope. Uh, you will not gonna have that chance. No, I will not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. That is my weapon. Right. <laughs> I that, I used that, uh, that I use it even if you wake me up at twelve in the night. You know. <laughs> that, that's what that's I. Right. It, 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 so even if I walked by you by mistake, you might hook me and you might give me a hook to the body, right? Depends on the situation. You know how nice you are. How how, how kind of guy you are. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, you're too big for me. You probably wouldn't even notice me, man. You know. So uh, uh, anyway, that's true. That, that is your advantage. You know, if you have a little bit of speed too, 
that you you can do trouble. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you you would be in trouble. I would be in trouble if you hit me with a jab. So uh, I, I I'm not worried about that. But uh, uh, yeah, that was one thing that uh, Buddy was trying to tell you in the first fight that you weren't utilizing your jab. I mean, you had the height and the reach advantage, and I'm sure you know what he was basically trying to tell you is take advantage of what you have. You have the tools, use them, right? Yes, sir. I had good after the fight, after the, the fight with uh, Ed Fontaine. I had good uh, good conversation with him. I had good conversation with Andy, too, with Andy Zach, with John Arthur, with, uh, with the guy who, who I call him Pop. And we, we sit down, we talk, and we, we we analyze the fight, you know. And I I know myself. I know what I did and what I didn't. You know, I know myself. And it, I think the most thing, me, I have to recognize myself, the mistake what I did, and I have to improvise to, to, to make it better and to, to take care of the mistake, you know? That's it. Well, you know, the tournament um, is kind of like, you know, and, and maybe some of my viewers and listeners don't understand, but once you signed on for this tournament, you started training and preparing, and it's still going because you don't really have time to take anything off because this next fight's going to be an eight-rounder, and then, bam, you're going to, you know, uh, assuming you, you move ahead, which I think you will, uh, you're going to be in the final. So you're still in training right now, right? Yes, yes, sir. And have you done? Are you doing anything different for this fight in terms of training than you had to prepare for the for the previous one that you just won? Honestly, you know, I think it's just the the the, the physical thing because the job I had it, the job I have it, the job I I used it before, and I'm gonna use it. It's one of my my good punches too. But the thing is, the mistake which I did with uh, with Ed. I got him in the second round, if you remember the fight, I, I got him to the body, right? And I see him and I, I, I feel that I hurt him and I would keep continuing to throw bombs at him. I punch him really hard. And trust me, that guy, Ed Fontaine, which I fight with, he can take a punch, man. I punch him really, really bad and I feel my knuckles and I swear to God, I punch him hard, hard. And he was shaking a few times, man. But he took the punch like a fighter, and I, I have to appreciate him for that, you know, because not too many. Usually they go down, you know, but he took punches. I, I tell you, I was surprised. I was surprised he was taking some of those by you. You definitely had an assault to the body that I, it, Hey, I became a big fan of yours because of the dedication you had to the body work. I think it's the most important thing in boxing. And unfortunately, a lot of young fighters have abandoned it. They go head hunting. I'm glad to see that, uh, you utilize uh, your body work and that you're so good at it. And I think it's going to help you, uh, in your career. And, of course, uh, I think you got a big piece of the puzzle with Buddy McGirt. Um, I, I wish you all the luck in this tournament, Razvan. I, I think that uh, uh, you have uh, the potential of, yeah, I think you have the potential of winning it all. And uh, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be ringside for the next one, but I'm certainly going to be watching it and uh, following you. And I hope we can have you on again after you win your next fight. Yes, sir. I'm going to be more than, more than, uh, than, than, than happy to, uh, to be on the radio. To be honest, it's uh, my debut on the radio too. It's first time on the radio, and uh, with you guys. And I want to thank you for the opportunity. I want to thank you because you like my style and you like how I box. And what can I say? God bless. God bless you, all your listeners. And we're gonna hear from. Uh, we're gonna hear you again after the next fight. That's right. As soon as you win, I'm going to set it up and we'll have you back on. Tell Buddy Billy C. said hi, and uh, we'll look forward to next time, my man. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, and God bless you guys. God all bless right. America, and God bless Romania, so and all the world. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck, brother. Thank you. Bye. Take care. That's uh, Razvan Kajanu. And uh, he uh, won the first heat of the the Boxino tournament in the heavyweight division. In case you guys missed it, it was on Turning Stone. It was at Turning Stone on ESPN. And uh, if you missed this guy fight, you missed a good fighter, man. He's a, a monster, six foot six, uh, and he works the body. He works the body like a short fighter. That's what I loved about him. It was the first thing I noticed. And he's right. And he gave a, a credit to his opponent. Uh, and uh, um, his opponent did take some devastating shots. I personally didn't think it was as close as the judges did. 
And, you know, you could say, well, you know, the judges are sitting up close. I was sitting right behind Teddy. I was right behind Teddy Atlas. Uh, everybody that was next to me, uh, we all thought that he won the fight. I, as a matter of fact, for the final round, I had gotten up and, and uh, wanted to get a, a, a bottle of water. And when they said, when they made the announcement and said that the fight was going into the draw breaker round, I was like, what? What fight were they watching, you know? Uh, so, uh, anyway, Razvan Kajanu, uh, I think uh, he's going to get by his next opponent. No disrespect to Donovan Dennis, but I think he's going to get by Donovan Dennis. And uh, I personally think he'll be in the finals. So, uh, look forward to having Razvan uh, on this show uh, again and then again. But, uh, anyway. 